Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Tushita, and it's the month of April, and it's so hot out here. Anyways, so we are here at uh, Nasik with family for a day out, and since you guys know that Nasik is called as wine capital of India, so we are out here to explore Soma village, which is near Gangapur Dam. So yeah, let's come check out the place. This area is spread across 25 acres, where 15 acres is for uh, vineyard and 10 acres is for resorts. And right now we are doing the registration for win uh, for wine tour and tasting, and I'm really excited for that. So yeah, and I must say, uh, it's a crowd crowd for registration. It's very simple, and we bought food bhi lagi hai, so we are going for lunch first, and then let's see. Uh, We'll go for wine tour and tasting because it is still 6 p.m. I suppose 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. So we have time me bahot. So we are now here at Wine and Dine restaurant for lunch with a view, and the view is so beautiful. You can see the vineyard along with the Gangapur Dam. Ordered. We have ordered Soma Zendafil Rose Don't Litchi and it is the smallest bottle which is of 75 ml, 75 ml. and it is best paired with here it is on label it is best paired with mildly spiced curries and rice dishes just done with her lunch and we ordered two pizzas and a biryani so I must say the, the pizza was good we really liked it but biryani was a bit spicy it was spicy for me so I didn't like that much but um, yeah overall I would say the food here is uh, average the wine was really amazing that we had ordered this really it was I, I, I must give thumbs up I really love the wine it tastes spectacular Loved it. So those were I for the tour. 3.30 batch. We go. We start the tour. 3.30 batch. So now after lunch, we are going for wine tour and tasting. Um, the wine tour here costs around rupees 100. And wine tasting actually depends on the number of wines we are taking, which uh, starts from around 500 rupees to 900 rupees. For five wine, for five glass of wine, it is around 500 rupees and goes up till uh, rupees 900 depending on number of wines you want to taste so this place is owned by mr pradeep panch patel sir and his family members we are having 25 acres of land 15 acres <coughs> we do the grape plantation 10 acres we are having the resort winery and the villa 
so here for the plantation purpose we are using the method grafting so we bring the saplings from different regions different countries from like germany france italy like that different different places different different regions we bring the sapling and do there the grafting method so you can see here that the base plant is more wider and thicker than the upper part so here we have done the grafting method so the base plant is the indian variety and the upper part which is there it's from the different countries different regions then so like you can see the black pipes too so this is used for the drip irrigation so the roots can go deep inside and collect all the minerals from the soil then this farm is of suvigao blanc a green grape variety we are having like both grape varieties like red and green this is suvigao blanc that side you can see one another green grape variety chenin blanc behind the villa we are having other varieties green uh, black or red grape varieties like shiraz cabernet pinot then fandel like this we are having different different grape grape varieties for this machine so we add the whole bunches to that the grape bunches then we like give pressure and the balloon is blown after the balloon is blown it presses the grapes gently after the pressing is done the juice and the pulp which is there it gets collected down here in the tub and the skin and the seeds and the stem which are there it remains inside the cylinder only you can see the dough so we add it from there then we press it close it the pressure and the water flows and the juice which is there it gets collected down you can see a nozzle down there so pipes are connected to the tanks whenever pressing is done you can see one another machine that side so we add the grape bunches to the machine we separate the bunches they like berries and separate the stems after the berries are separated it falls on the machine that's called the crushing machine the grapes are like crushed there after the crushing is done it falls down the must pump after that you can see a pipe connected here so the thing the juice with the skin and the seed everything gets transferred to the tank so after every harvesting crushing and pressing is done after that's done the juices or the like pulp the whole thing is directly transferred to the tank after the addition is done now you can see the tanks here stage we remove the skin so later juice for the pulp so Like what we do, the juice which is there, transfer it to the other tank. We use it for the fermentation, uh, for the aging purpose, for the maturation purpose. So the inside layer of the barrels are like burnt, so you get the smoky and the woody flavor. It's because of the barrels. One thing is that in the tanks, the wine cannot breathe because there is no space for oxygen, no space for. breathing here the wine breathes because wood has pores so that is called the micro oxidation so when the barrel when we fill the wines with the barrel we age the barrel uh, we age the wine it gets like the wine gets very soft and its flavor gets settles and like it gets enhanced after the wine breathes its flavor gets enhanced that's why we do the swirling before every wine we drink so after wine too now it's time for wine tasting which is the best part of wine tour and tasting so let's go for it white meat poultry or starters like pizza pasta salads like that red wines are paired with red meat uh, then the proper gravy meals you can have it with chicken also you can pair like tandoori like that gravy meals you can have it with the red wines and the dessert wine you can pair it with the dessert or you can have it as a dessert so we'll start with the first one chardonnay reserve chardonnay is a green grape variety and reserved year means that we are making it in small quantities like 5 to 6000 bottles a year so it's in the reserve category and this has like 12.5 percentage of alcohol behind every 100 ml so just allow me to pour that 
why we are using these glasses we can drink wine in any normal table glass but if we hold a glass like this because of our body contact the wine will, wine will get warm and it will not release its proper flavors so we have to hold the glass with the stem and we use the stem glasses these glasses are called the stem stem glasses so the next thing is there are like some cases of drinking wine see swirl sniff and sip so the first thing is see you have to see the wine in light it should be crystal clear there should be no particles inside that or cloudiness cloudiness is a disease of wine so it should be crystal clear then the second thing is swirl just hold the glass like this and swirl it or you can keep the glass on the table hold it like a pencil and swirl so when you swirl the wine the wine breathes and it comes in contact with oxygen and it releases its proper flavors so the swirling is done after swirling is done you can see some drops coming down so those are called the legs of wine or the tears of wine so those determine the alcohol percentage or the density the faster the drops are coming down it has less amount of alcohol the slower the drops are coming down it has more amount of alcohol so after the sniffing the third step is uh, sorry after the second thing swirl next thing is sniff just take the glass to your nose and take a deep breath so you'll feel your flavors to your brain you'll determine the flavors to your brain so you can do it and after that the last thing is sip just take the first sip and roll it on your tongue or chew it or gargle it then gulp it so your taste buds will get activated your because your tip of the tongue you get different flavors back of tongue you get different flavors even sides you get different flavors so cheers everyone cheers. and enjoy your drinks Done with our wine tasting, and the wine that we love the most is the lychee honey one. It's a bit in sweeter side. I really liked it. And to be honest, I thought tips you, because I just sipped five wines, five glass of wine. But uh, yeah, anyways, I the experience was good. I must say, if you're coming here at Soma Village Wine Yard. Soma Wine Village, Soma Village Wine. Oh God, I am tipsy. Okay, anyways, what I'm trying to say is that do try out this uh, wine tour and tasting. It's really worth it. And Abhita, the must try wine is the Zinnafil Lychee Honey Rose, Zinnafil Lychee Honey Wine, and we're buying that one to take it along with us. So we bought the wines, and now we are done with our wine tour and tasting as well. So we'll just sit outside. Uh, we'll probably sit in this barrel house. Uh, I thought initially that we can have lunch here, but it's not that way. We can't have lunch here. It's just for sitting purpose. And here we have grape stomping, which is around two thousand rupees per person. So how was the experience and which wine did you like most? Lychee. Okay. And how was the entire experience of uh, Soma Vineyard? It was good. And now we're going inside this vineyard to click pictures and some videos. And Miss Jay is also coming along with us. wonderful day trip we are now going back to Mumbai and yeah it was really great day really fun day I must recommend it I come in this place I have heard a lot about Sula vineyard but I must tell you this is no less so much should be tried out as well um, 
yeah that's all about this vlog hope you liked it and if you loved it don't forget to like comment and subscribe so see you guys in my next vlog Thank you.